I was literally just about to walk out the door. And then this showed up and this <laughs> and this. <laughs> so yeah, I bought a lot of books on a uh, Black Friday from Book Outlet. And now let's open them up and see what all I bought. I bought 45 books. It's excessive. <laughs> let's start with the first box. Okay, there we go. Also, does anyone else's book outlet boxes come looking like they've been chewed up and spit out? I don't know what USPS is doing, but my boxes always come destroyed, which is great. Um, okay, so let's talk about what I actually ordered. I ordered a lot of graphic novels. I ordered a lot of graphic novels. And um, yeah, let's just dig into and remember what I bought because I don't remember. Okay. Also, I don't know what a lot of these books are about, so we're just going to kind of show you and then maybe figure it out together when I actually read them. Uh, but this one I purchased, I think this one actually came out either this year or last year, and this one is Every Bird a Prince by Jen Reese. I know nothing about this other than it's an adorable, very highly rated middle grade. And um, yeah, it's about a girl named Erin who rescues a strange magical bird that reveals a shocking secret. Their forest kingdom is under attack by vile frost frost fangs and the birds need Aaron's help to survive. I love it. It's short. Middle grade March is coming up quickly around the corner so this will be on the list for sure. Okay next we have a couple graphic novels. No, this is the infographic guide to grammar. Pretty self-explanatory, seems pretty easy to read, and um, I haven't taken grammar since college when I was an English major, so I figured this wouldn't be a good brushing up on, uh, on the things, so there's that. I have really no explanation for some of these other than it just sounded fun. Okay, another graphic novel that I've been wanting to check out, this is Needle and Thread by David Pinkney. And this just looked super cute. I love middle grade graphic novels. The art in this just looks adorable. It was pretty highly rated. You guys know graphic novels for me are quick, easy reads to kind of fill in when I'm in more of a reading slump. So thought I would pick this one up. Next, we've got Dear Sophie, Love Sophie by Sophie Lucedo Johnson. And this is a graphic memoir in diaries, letters, and lists. This just again looked super cute to me. I think it's like a journal from when she was younger and she's kind of writing to herself, which I just think is so cute because I've kept a journal from when I was in like sixth grade. And so I just think the idea of this is amazing and sounded super cute. Okay, next we have The Stranger in the Lifeboat by Mitch Album. This is the author of Tuesdays with Maury, which I read years ago and really loved. But yeah, I have a couple of his books and to be honest, I haven't read them, but I've wanted to. And these just seem like just really heartfelt, pull on the heartstrings type of books. And yeah, this one just sounded really cool about these people I think that are stranded. And then this other guy joins their lifeboat that basically like think that he's, he thinks he's God or he's claiming to be God. So fascinating. Okay, next we have, wait, <gasps> was this supposed to be hardcover or paperback? Hold on. No, paperback, we're good. Okay, so sorry. I have the entire series of these bind ups of the Dr. Doolittle books and I have this one that was in a hardcover and I wanted to get the paperback because all my other ones are paperbacks. That's what it is. So here's my paperback version to now complete my collection in the same pretty aesthetic because I like all of my books in the series to match, whether it's hardcover or paperback. Look how fun. Okay, next we've got Anya and the Nightingale by Sophia Pasternak. This is a series because this year at some point, I don't know when, I want to do a reading month where I read books about dragons. And this came in a series with another book that's probably somewhere in these boxes. It's called Anya and the Dragon and it was super highly rated and so this is the sequel because I couldn't just get one. But it looks super fun and I like it. 
Okay, for just a random one-off again, we'll probably read this for middle grade March. This is A Kitten in Gooseberry Park by Cynthia Ryland. This is a series I was obsessed with as a child, the Gooseberry Park books, and I think this is one in the series that I have not read. I have the other ones and figured this would just be cute to pick up and read in like a sitting. Okay, then this is fascinating to me. This is Selfie, How We Became So Self-Obsessed What It's Doing to Us by Will Storr. The concept of social media to me is absolutely fascinating. I think it's a very weird concept in and of itself, and I think it's, to be honest, very detrimental to our society more than it's helpful, but I thought this would be really interesting. I'll be honest, it's much thicker than I thought it would be, but the print looks pretty large, which is good. So I will be interested to uh, read this and see what the guy thinks. Okay, next we have another graphic novel. This is So Much for Love, How I Survived a Toxic Relationship by Sophia Lambada. This I've heard had really high ratings on Goodreads, but was told a very hard read um, of just a depiction of toxic relationships. So I'm nervous to read this. I feel like I need to be in a very good headspace before reading this, but I think it's gonna be really, really good. And I'm a little nervous to read it, but I think it'll be, it'll be interesting. So yeah, the art looks really good. Okay, next again for random things that I buy off Book Outlet, this is Ethics 101 from altruism to alterianism to bioethics and political ethics and exploration of the concepts of right and wrong something I'm fascinated by. So I love these type of books because I think they're just such bite-sized, easy ways to understand a concept up at the very top of my bookshelf. I have an entire series of just the same kind of books in this kind of field where they're just bite-sized and I haven't read a single one of them, but I really want to. Okay. Next we have, oh, perfect. This is the Book of Holiday Awesome by Neil... Patricia. This is a series of books I've loved and I'm so excited when I saw this that it was a holiday collection of just their little like again one-off pieces like things that are the favorites or just things that make life a little warmer a little better and it's a holiday version which I think is so cute so I'm actually gonna try and read this before Christmas because I think that'll be super fun. Okay next we have Antelope Woman by Louise Endrich, and this is a author that has written one of my favorite books from when I was a child that I'm completely blanking on, and I think this is an adult novel? I think so. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's about a guy who abducts an Indian woman and takes her far away from her native Montana plains to his own Minneapolis home, and he can't begin to imagine the eventual ramifications his act will entail. Ooh, that's interesting. I think this is an adult book, I'm pretty sure, but she writes about um, Native Americans and their kind of experience, and I find it fascinating. Okay, next we have a couple more graphic novels. This is Primates, The Fearless Science of Jane Goodall, Diana Fossey, and I cannot pronounce that last name. I do apologize. Bru I'm not even going to try, um, but this is a graphic novel essentially about these women that worked with the animals in the forests, and obviously most people know who uh, Jane Goodall is. I am massively fans of these women. I think they're so incredible. I love everything about them, and I just think they're so cool. So I just thought a cute little graphic novel about their lives would be fun to read. Okay, for a really random graphic novel. I don't know. I'm obsessed with Bridgerton. You guys know if you've seen my channel. I read the entire Bridgerton book series last year. No, this year, beginning of this year. And I found this online and was just like, I have to. And this is the Miss Butterworth and the Mad Baron by Julia Quinn. This is a graphic novel of the novel in, I think it's Francesca's book or it's no, it's the youngest daughter's book. So I just think this will be hilarious and so over the top dramatic. And yeah, I think it'll be hilarious. So I'm really excited to read this. Okay, and the last book that I got in this box was um, by Majo Molfino, and that is Break the Good Girl Myth, How to Dismantle Outdated Rules, Unleash Your Power, and Design a More Purposeful Life seems pretty self-explanatory, just something I thought that would be pretty interesting. So I'll let you guys know uh, what I think. Next box. Okay, next we have, okay, 
So my concept with this is the following. I am not a good cook. I have not loved the idea of cooking. I don't even like the idea of cooking. Cooking to me is very stressful. Grocery shopping is stressful. So my goal for this coming year is to enjoy cooking and to find things that I really like to cook and are really easy for me to cook. Hence, cooking for one, the cookbook. Um, I live with two roommates, but mainly I do most of my cooking by myself. And so I thought that this would be good to just kind of go through and I want to pick out a pretty good amount of recipes to try throughout the year and maybe even film them for you guys or put them on the internet somewhere. I'm still kind of figuring out how I want to do this, but if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing me try to cook the things in a recipe, let me know. It would be hilarious, let me tell you. Okay, next. Oh no, this one got kind of squished. Okay, um, this is The Christmas by the Book by Anne Marie Ryan, and it got definitely destroyed in travel, but um, this is basically about a cute little bookshop owner couple named Nora and Simon, and essentially they um, want to use this time of year around Christmas to like help people lift people's spirits through the power of reading, which I think just sounds so cute and adorable, and it seems pretty short, so I'm going to try and read it before Christmas, which is in like... A week but we'll see how that goes <laughs> okay so next we have seekers of the wild realm by alexandria ott this again i want to include as part of my reading of dragons books which if there's any dragon books that you guys recommend please let me know down in the comments below because i would love to find out what books you guys recommend and want me to read i have a few already on my growing pile i'm reading the aragon series so know that that is included um but yeah i'm excited i love dragon books and so i'm trying to compile a really solid stack to go through and figure out my favorites okay next uh speaking of dragon books this is kenny and the book of beasts this is part of a series by tony d terrazzo and the first book in the series i have and it is let's see What's the first one with this? I forget, but basically, oh, it's the sequel to Kenny and the Dragon. So I just thought these look super cute. I love his art so, so much. He also uh, illustrated the Spiderwick Chronicles, which I wanna read this year as well. So yeah, I just think this one's gonna be super cute. And again, the artwork is amazing. Next, speaking of dragon books, we have the first book in that series. This is Anya and the Dragon by Sophia uh, Pasternak. I just again think this looks super good super highly rated on goodreads which is tends to be how i get most of my books on goodreads is from on book outlet is from good ratings on goodreads there we go uh, so yeah i think this is going to be really fun and i'm very excited next we've got another not dragon book but this one was really highly rated this is tentacle and wing by sarah porter and this is basically about a girl who's a chimura who's born with human and animal dna and kind of it's a genetic experiment gone wrong seems super interesting i'm very excited to read this next graphic novels. We've got a couple of them. Let's talk about it. We've got Macbeth by obviously William Shakespeare, but in graphic novel form. I'm trying to be better about reading classics and the graphic novels for me, for whatever reason, just seem so much easier to digest. Um, I know this is like a whole series, um, but again, the graphic novels for me, when I'm down and feeling slumpy, it makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something. So there's that. And then again, along with reading books before I read the actual novel, this is Grace Lane by Kristen Kishore. And I've wanted to read the series for a while, but I've essentially decided to read the graphic novel instead and see if I actually like it enough to read the actual series. So let me know what you guys think. Next, okay, books that are being replaced to add to my shelves. I can never find a hard cover hard copy version of the program by Suzanne Young. This to me is a wild concept of a book. I read it back I think in high school actually and have gotten rid of my original copy but yeah this whole series is such a trip to me. I do kind of want to reread it at some point um, but the program is essentially about people who are battling depression and get sent off to this thing where their memory and like their whole who they are essentially gets wiped. It's really trippy um, but yeah this was very much that dystopian era of like Hunger Games-esque type of books that was super popular back in high school for me um but I've always wanted the hard copy version of it never been able to find it found it done okay 
for another fun Christmas book. Oh, this looks so cute. This is The Legend of the Christmas Witch by Dan Murphy and Aubrey Plaza, which I find absolutely hilarious that she wrote a book. Um, but this just seemed like a really cute, again, quick read for Christmas time and the art looked amazing. So I just think, uh, yeah, fun Christmas things. I was in a Christmas festive mood, clearly. Oh, okay, for another one nonfiction, this is Amelia Loss. This is much shorter than I thought it was gonna be, which I find interesting, but cool. Um, this is about the life and disappearance of Amelia Earhart by Candace Fleming. Again, a woman I greatly admire just from a lot of different levels. I love and am fascinated by Amelia Earhart, so I just think this is a cool, quick, seemingly quick read. It's probably more for children, potentially, based on the size and font size. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to read this. Next, we have another Suzanne Young book. This is the third book in her newest series, which is Girls with a Rebel Soul, which is from the series Girls with a Sh Girls with Sharp Sticks. Um, this is book three. I have not started this series. I have the first two that I have not read yet. This is my motivation to just binge the entire series. So let me know what you guys think of this, <laughs> if it's good. I've already got it, but you know. Okay, and speaking of classics and graphic novel form, this is a chunk of a book, uh, but this is The Odyssey by Gareth Hines, or The Adaptation is by Gareth Hines. Who actually wrote, okay, I'm gonna sound really dumb for a second, who actually wrote The Odyssey? someone let me Homer that's right I'm pretty sure um but anyways this is the graphic novel of the Odyssey again this is just much more digestible for me I love the idea of graphic novels made from classics just again to kind of be able to absorb the story in a new and different way because the original text can sometimes be very hard to slog through so I'm actually really excited about this this is this is thick though that's a big boy third box last box let's get into it okay more graphic novels I told you guys I bought a lot I've really gotten into graphic novels the last couple of years and I just think they're so good to read when like you're feeling slumpy I love it this is they threw us away the Teddy saga by Daniel Kra uh, Krauss this is supposed to be about kind of in the vein of Toy Story 3 if you've seen that of like toys that get thrown away into the dump and I don't really want to know much more, but they just look really cute and like it hopefully has a happy ending because toys getting thrown away makes me sad. So we'll see how that goes. Um, another one that I'm really excited about. This is Sapiens, which is by Yuval Noah Harari. And this is the Pillars of Civilization, the graphic novel history. So a historical graphic history of the world. The art in this looks amazing. I'm really excited about this. I think it'll be super fascinating. And yeah, again, chunk of a book. Big boy. Another graphic novel. Can I buy any more? This is positive in Positively Introverted, Finding Your Way Through a World Full of People. This is about being introverted, which myself I am sometimes, most of the time. Um, so yeah, I think it's more of a self-help book than I think a graphic novel, which I'm now realizing flipping through, but either way. You gotta know your strengths, gotta find out what way works best for you in this world, and I just think this was super cute and the art is adorable. Speaking of another book by Yuval Noah Harari, this is 21 Lessons for the 21st Century. I just think this is fascinating. I've loved and seen this book recommended so many times, and I just think it seems really cool. To be honest, I don't really know a lot about what's all in it, but it seems fun and interesting. So, and like, it'll make me smarter, potentially. Okay, next, we have another infographic book. This is the infographic guide to the test, the Bible, the Old Testament, which again, I don't know why, but graphic books at this point in my life fascinate me. So I thought this would be a cool one. Cause you know, if you can find out more about this life and things that interest you, makes you better, makes you smarter, what not, you know? Okay, next another graphic novel. This is The Backups, A Summer in Stardom by Alexa DeCampi and others. This I think is about a group of backup dancers or backup singers and again the art just seems super fun, very colorful, very cartoony which is usually my favorite so it seems like a good time. Next we have My Last Summer with Cass by Mark Crilly. This I'm blanking on completely what this was about. I think this is about girls that are, let's see, oh yeah, 
basically like best friends and then one of them moves away and their friendship how will it survive and change over the years so i think this just looks super cute i don't think it's middle grade i think it might be adult or young adult um but yeah i think it looks super cute <gasps> oh that's beautiful that's stunning oh i love a good inside cover wonderful next we have again we have another dragon book. This is Rise of the Dragon Moon by Gabrielle Bryan. This seems, again, super cute. A lot of middle grade obviously speaks more to the realm of fantasy. I don't know if that I'm quite ready to delve into like adult dragon fantasy. That seems a lot <laughs> because again, we could then reach for like Game of Thrones and things in that realm. And those always seem intense. So I'm starting small and we're growing from there. But again, any dragon recommendations, let me know down in the comments below. Okay, we're almost to the end, I promise. A couple random one-offs. This is My Life with Chimpanzees by Jane Goodall. This is her story about when she obviously went into the forests of Africa to observe the chimpanzees. Again, obsessed with the concept of this woman in her entirety, so anything by her I would love to read and get my hands on. So I just think this is super cute. A random book from when I was a child, which is some of my favorite stuff to find, is Max's Chocolate Chicken by Rosemary Wells. This was a book series I loved as a child, just the art, the concept of this. So when I see books from my childhood that I don't have currently, I love picking them up just to reminisce and have them for my future children, because I think they're kind of just fun. All right, we're almost done, I promise. Last graphic novel that I picked up is Passport by Sophia Glock. This is about a girl, from what I'm remembering, that live, uh, she's lived all over the world because of her parents' work, and now she's going to high school in Central America. Um, so yeah, I think this looks super cute. Again, I try not to know too much about graphic novels before going into them, but I love a good graphic novel, and this just, you know, travel is always my favorite, so had to get it. All right, oh, one more graphic novel. This is Measuring Up by Lily La Lamade. Super cute. And this is about a girl that moved from Taiwan to Seattle. And the only thing she wants more than to fit in at her new school is to celebrate her grandmother Ama's 70th birthday together. So cute, I love it. Middle grade graphic novels are always supreme in my mind. Okay, and then sequel to another dragon series book. This is Seeker of the Wild Realm, Realm, Legend of the Realm by Alexandra Audie. Again, middle grade dragons, need I say any more. And the last book in this massive haul, I'm aware, this is a lot. This is, this is a lot for me, uh, is Vanderbilt, The Rise and Fall of an American Dynasty by, Al by Anderson Cooper. Again, I saw Anderson Cooper talking about this book in an interview a really long time ago. And I love the idea of old money families for some reason. They just fascinate me. And just stuff that he was talking about with his mom and his family and his life when he was like kind of talking about this book seemed very interesting to me. And I love a good family scandal. So I picked it up and I'm excited. All right, friends. So that is everything that I've picked up recently that I bought on Black Friday to help support my seasonal seasonal slumpiness, to be honest. Did I need all these books? No. Did I need most of these books? No. Did I, you know, did I want these books? Yes. Yes, I, yes, I did. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Again, let me know down in the comments below what books you are excited to see me read, if there's any you want me to do a reading vlog type of thing for. Yeah, just let's chat and I will uh, see you guys in the next one. I'll talk to you later. Subscribe to see more of my face and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.